you know your instance and your elastic IP and all that stuff and install a uh, WordPress and so here's Bing website pro on an Amazon server and uh, <clears throat> so if we go here and we click on blog we look at this ugly permalink you know should say blog up there and if we go down here to hello world you see page equals one you know question mark now the issue is we'll go down here and we'll set our permalinks just like so and we'll hit post name okay and we'll have, go ahead and save those changes now what we're going to do is um, go back to our Bing website pro that loads fine but however whenever we go to our blog you see page not found that's because the uh, mod rewrite module for Apache is not enabled and we have to do a few things you'll notice here whenever we uh, you know enabled the post name on the pre permalink WordPress is telling us that we need this in our HT access file so this is the lesson today first we're gonna log in you know if you don't know what this is about then you go back to the previous lessons we're going to create a work an HT access file for WordPress and we're going to put that in there but that's just part of the steps then we're going to navigate to Apache to this particular file right here and we need to insert these lines then finally enable the mod rewrite rule and then we're going to restart Apache so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick and we're going to go through it one step at a time we'll start by firing up our terminal and we'll go ahead and log into the server via SSH. Now, if you don't realize what's going on here, go to the other lessons. I've laid it all out for you. Okay, now the next thing we need to do after we're logged in, we have to log in as root. So type in S U D O S U, just like before. And now we're logged in as root. Now we have to get to the to the the root directory so we can navigate to our WordPress files. And if you hit ls, oh sorry, ls hyphen a, this will show you a list of directories, but it also shows you those hidden files that start with a period. And HT Access is one of those files that we're going to be doing. But we're going to navigate to cd var cd www and cd html, and this is where our WordPress files are. As you can see, there is no um, HD access file. We've, if we hit put ls hyphen a, we can see right now this, here, here's some you know hidden files, but there's no HD access file. So how do we create an HD access file? We'll type in touch, just like oop, t o u c h, just like that. Space and then period h t a c c e s s, just like that. And now if we hit ls a, we should see that we have an HD access file in there, and we do right there. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to edit that HT access file and put this code in there that we have from WordPress. So we're going to type in vim, V-I-M, and then period H-T-A-C-C-E-S-S. -S, and this is going to bring up our editor. We need to hit the letter I on our keyboard so we get ready to insert. And basically what I'm going to do, let me bring this over here so you see what I'm doing. I'm going to copy this code that we got from our WordPress. Then I'm going to right click, I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to hit the escape key and the, the colon on my keyboard and WR for writing this file. Okay, now this file should be written and we should be good to go as far as that goes. So we, we put that in there and you might think, well, okay, it should work now. But as you can see, if I go to blog, it's still not found. That's because we need to complete the other steps. So. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and let me show you this next steps. And I'll have all these codes on uh, A1 Website Pro. We're going to navigate to the Apache, okay? So let's go back to our root by typing cd word slash, and then we're going to let me put this over here so you can see the URL path that I'm following right here. So we want cd, and here's a fast way to do it etc, etc, uh, slash Apache 2 slash and then sites hyphen a v a i l a b l e okay and then if we go inside this directory right here we can see that that zero 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 hyphen default dot c o n f that's what we want to edit so we type once again type in vim zero 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 hyphen default dot c o n f 
and this will bring up our editor. We'll hit E if we get this screen right here so we can go in here to our virtual host and edit them. Navigate down to the bottom of this file. All right, let's see here. All right, and then what we're going to do is when, after we've navigated to the bottom, hit the I so you can start inserting. And let me see here. Let me this and what we want to do is copy these lines and like I said I'll have these for you on a website pro now a lot of these when you look them up online they start to stop at www but since you're using Amazon you know that your WordPress is in that HTML so we're gonna right click copy that and right here we're gonna paste it in there just like so okay into our virtual host we're gonna hit the escape key colon wr and then hit enter so it writes it to the directory okay so this is this is telling the server where you know we want to be able to allow override all and if you look this up in uh, Apache documentation you'll see that this is the proper way to do it okay so let me hit escape <coughs> and then colon and type quit all right so we're out of there and now we have to enable the mod rewrite rule and we just use this little command right here okay copy and once again I always like to make sure that I'm in the root directory whenever I do this so I hit CD forward slash I'm going to paste in this command to enable the mod rewrite and it tells me right away I have to uh, restart Apache so I can actually just copy this right here just like that and paste that right there and start Apache. The other line to, to restart Apache is this one here, so that'll work too. <clears throat> so let me see here, we are getting a little air. So let's do this. Paste. All the, notice there it says the virtual host was not closed. So we have to go back into that file and uh, let's see here. Let me grab this little line. I just saw it. Just go back in here, copy it. All right, so let's go to the directory again. Uh, CD etc. And let me CD Apache 2. And then CD sites A B A I L A B L E. And then the name of that file, we'll type in Vim. And then 000. zero, zero hyphen default dot c o n whoop, n f just like that and we're going to go back in here <coughs> and we're going to edit it so we see a virtual you have to have these tags virtual host 80 and then we went down and we've uh, we put our directory thing in there but now what we have to do is go to the end of this file and um, we have to close out that virtual host tag so let's go like this paste it in there. It's going to be better. All right. And uh, we come right to the beginning here. We want to need our forward slash right there. Okay. I can delete these three lines just like that. Okay. Go to the end of the file. I'm going to hit escape, colon, wr, enter. So now that it's closing out the file. Okay. So let me hit escape, colon, type in quit. All right, now we should be good. So let me go ahead and make sure this rewrite module is ready to rock and roll. I'm going to hit CD. So I work from the root directory. Okay, it's already enabled, so now I need to restart Apache. Copy, let's restart Apache. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see if all of our hard work has paid off. So we're going to come here, we're going to refresh this page, we're going to go to blog, and voila, we have our pretty permalinks. Okay, so that's what you got to do to enable the mod rewrite rule on Apache. And once again, I'll have all these codes for you on this post at a1websitepro.com. I hope this tutorial has helped somebody out. Thanks for watching.